What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy, Jay Reed, for Jay Reed's Love, of course. What are we doing today? You can see we got the vet jacked up. Just came from the track yesterday, so I am... Mm -mm. So I'm doing two things. The first thing I'm doing is raising up the front end of my car. And that's really the purpose of this video. But I'm also changing back to my street tire. But we're going to show you how to lower or even how to raise your CC's Corvette. It's a real easy process. Now, what you want to do, you're going to need two jacks. Get your two jacks or at least some jack stands or one jack and a jack stand. Because you're going to have to jack your car up at your normal jack point. And then you're going to also need another jack. And this doesn't matter if whether you're lowering it or raising it. You're going to need another jack and place it up under your leaf spring like that. And then you're going to jack it up to where, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the lowering pad right there. So you want to jack it up to where there's no tension on that lowering pad. Now me, like I said, I am raising, I'm raising my car up. So the process is going to be a little bit different, but you're going to need a 10 millimeter, what? A 10 millimeter wrench, this right here. And if you want to lower it, you want to go counterclockwise to raise it, going to go clockwise. Now what I suggest you do if you're lowering it, is to go all the way just as far as you can counterclockwise simple as that now if you're raising it that's a little bit different so you're going to have to need somewhere some way of marking it i'm going to use tooth tooth nail i'm going to use nail polish to mark the number of turns that i turn it and it's also going to give me a little height too so i can kind of measure it as well when i go to the other side so anyway you're going to jack it up and this is your lowering bolt right there that i'm tapping on okay I don't know if you can see it. This is a real simple process. If you go to a shop to do this, they're gonna charge you anywhere from $75 on up. Just do it yourself, especially if you're lowering it. All you're doing is getting your two jacks and turning it as far as you can. So, but anyway, I digress. Let's get right to it. This shouldn't take too long. And while I'm doing it, I'm changing tires. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but I just vaguely kind of marked it. So yeah, I really pay attention and look at it now. So I know to line that up with this side and I'll probably do another one on the leaf spring too just to make sure that those are right where they were and I'll be able to tell how many turns I'm turning all right so I am going to take my uh you may have to use some type of PB uh WD-40 or something like that if this if you can't get it to move but mine is moving fine and let's see how many turns is that Shit, I need my flashlight. And just like that, it's done. I did mine just one turn. I don't know if you can see it. Line it back up with that. And as you can see, it. Uh, I really need to replace these because that pad is horrible. It's horrible. It's wore out, but we're going to leave it alone from for now. We got one turn. One turn should be enough. I'm thinking that's going to be enough. And that's really all it is. Like I said, if you're trying to lower it, you want to go all the way down till you can't turn it anymore. If you want to raise it, you got to do some type of measuring to make sure you got both sides even. I guess that's going to wrap it up. This is a real short video. I just wanted to show y'all while I was how to do that while I was doing it. Like, comment, and subscribe.